Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, this is how it goes lately. I think the prayers for rain were heard. You can cease on that now. <laughs> uh, we need some sunshine. Boy. I'll take advantage of this brief lull in the rain. Uh, it was coming down so hard a second ago, uh, I, you wouldn't have been able to hear me. It's like being inside of a snare drum out here, but uh, I'll show you around to the systems and show you what I'm up against right now. So I had this last night running the refrigerator and it was only down to like 20, 7% and it had kicked the refrigerator off, which was confusing to me. So I think I'm going to have to reset my fuel gauge here. Uh, it's not displaying, I don't believe, anything correct right now. It's been a while since I've reset that, but, you know, if I scroll back on the uh, trends, you know, you can see right now it's cruising along at, oh, what is that? Let's see. 24.48 volts, but here's five hours ago. If I go back five hours, you can see that's when it kicked the refrigerator off, even though this was showing 27%. So I'm going to have to kind of recalibrate that because it's been doing that the last few days. It gets down to where it still shows a quarter of a tank and, and uh, the inverter up here that 24 volt there, red light flashing, no refrigeration. So, okay, I'm gonna let that charge up right now. There's a few watts coming in. Let's just see right now, I've got 300 watts out there available and I am getting 43 watts, which that's something. That's the most I've seen for a couple of days. And moving right on down the line on the wall here, you can see that this 300 amp hour down to 25%. This is all calibrated right and acting good. Uh, running that five cubic foot refrigerator freezer. And right now the sky is bright. You can't see the sun, but I've got 400 watts available. And you can see I am getting 126 watts. That's the most I've seen on this system. Whether it gets this, you know, if it keeps this kind of up, I'll be okay and still get through the night on this system, barely probably, but uh, getting very low there too. And two days ago, I drew, drew this down to absolute zero for the first time in the whole history I've been running this. It was running the refrigerator freezer, that 20 cubic foot. I uh, had to just let it go woke up in the morning, that thing was down to zero. And uh, now on its second day of charging with 700 watts of solar and nothing tied into it, you can see I've got 23%. And taking a quick look at what's happening with 700 watts available, 177, that's looking promising, but I mean, it's not gonna last, but yeah, two days up 23%, so I'm not ready to really use that for anything. I am going to have to pump a little water for a minute in the house and uh, turn the reverse osmosis system on, and I'm going to use that. It won't, you know, hurt that at all, but I'm going to let this battery get up to, you know, a full charge since I took it down to zero, and that may take a while. Had to break this into operation today to make some coffee and currently running that refrigerator freezer and yeah, that's going down too. So I need to get this back out where I can charge it up, whatever it can charge up today. I'm gonna move this refrigerator to a different system now. So yeah, I need to to turn on the reverse osmosis. I'm gonna put it on the 48 volt system right here and turn it on just enough to fill up all of the day's purified water and then I'm gonna shut it back down. So moving some RO water 
getting it ready for tomorrow's coffee. Trying to stay a little bit ahead of things. And I had drawn the chins down pretty low and I let them take a rest over the past couple of days and I've got them up to 55% now. So I'm gonna move the refrigerator freezer over to this for the rest of the day. And let's see what it's drawing uh, as far as solar power. So I've got a thousand watts of solar out there, 500 through each charge controller. Right now the top string out there, 500 watts available, 120 watts. That's the best it's been. Probably, like I said, not gonna continue throughout the day. Uh, when that real heavy rain comes in, these drop to about zero as far as solar input. And here, looking at the lower string, 500 watts available, going through that one. Uh, you know, it's fluctuating a little bit about the same. All right, so let's discontinue this here. You can see, uh, now that's what my 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer is drawing right now. Uh, you know, the, it's kind of cool right now, so 66 watts is all that's taking it uh, to power that on a kind of a cool day. So we're gonna unplug this, and I'm gonna try and get this boosted up to some degree, because I have to rely on this as kind of a, a last ditch effort in here. So, okay, out of here. And we'll just move this over to right here. Uh, that chin system is hardwired through the house. It's the only uh, system that I've got that is hardwired throughout the house is that chins. So I'm gonna let that run this for the rest of the day. And if this doesn't keep this running for the rest of the day, I'll plug it into this system, which is currently sitting at 100% full. It's in float right now. Uh, been keeping this as like another little last resort backup, 200 amp hours at 12 volts there. And I've got this top bowl 3000 watt inverter tied up to it currently. So I'll probably go ahead and move that freezer to out to here, you know, not move the freezer, but just move the extension cord, plug it in there and let this take care of that for the next couple of days and let that other system catch up. So yeah, playing musical batteries just a little bit these days. And I actually do have the sun trying as hard as it can to make an appearance. So uh, going to be gaining more at the moment than I have in a couple of days. Come on, come on. <laughs> and I just carried this out to my little shelter logic. And let's plug in a couple hundred watts of solar there and try and get this charging up. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see how much right there. So yeah, 200 watts available, getting a whopping 18 watts, but at least it's charging. This little thing comes in quite handy. Made coffee this morning. Uh, try and keep this full too. I pump a lot of water out here with this, transferring water from one tank to another. So yeah, well, at least it'll be more than that, hopefully by the end of the day. <laughs> and I'll take advantage of being able to stand out here in the yard, which it's been a while since I've been able to do that without filling my galoshes to the top in just seconds. But yeah, I'm doing okay. Uh, still not had to fire up a generator. I do have... Uh, a couple more batteries I can deploy that are fully charged up in the shop if need be. So yeah, it's just a little moving things around and keeping things running. It's not that difficult, but I am moving around a bit. And uh, I don't even need to mention that I've got plenty of water, plenty of water. <laughs> and having plenty of water in my mind is always the number one priority yeah 
I've got backups for the power if need be, but if there's no water, uh, the backup for that is spending a lot more money than I would like to spend. And knock on wood, like I keep saying, I haven't had to do that, but yeah, I could have filled up an Olympic sized swimming pool in the past few weeks. I wish I would have shot some video of where I was yesterday. I did have to go out and do a few things and uh, the roads were stacking up water pretty good in some of the areas I went to. Most of the places were passable, ran into a, one or two places uh, that were not, and that would have been worthy of a video right there. But um, yeah, when I'm dodging that kind of water out and about, yeah, I didn't think about turning the camera on. <laughs> I just thought about getting home. Yeah, the tropics can pound you, pound you with rain. And that's what we're doing, getting pounded. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be right on top of me again here in just one second. All right, got all the drinking water needed for the next couple of days. And what do we do? We knock it down maybe a percent, and then I'm gonna go back to giving this one a rest. Can unplug the RO system. Turn it off. Catch what you can catch today, baby. Yeah, I need to let this thing go to 100% and then reset this too. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight batteries I've had to rely on uh, through these days to keep everything up and running with a little bit of unplugging and moving things around, but. Uh, doing pretty good. I mean, I've got to be happy with that. Still uh, got backups and uh, yeah, eight batteries to keep everything humming along. And look at that. There's sun actually hitting those panels right now. So let's go. Hope you guys are getting what you need. I see winter is actually happening in some parts of the world out there. And I guess I'd call this winter conditions here too. And Boy, I meant to get a clip of it uh, the other day when I had zero solar coming in. So dark and so rainy. You'd look and it's like you got thousands of watts uh, available and zero coming in. But that's a little unusual. Like right now, the sky's kind of bright. I'm making power. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well where you are. Everything's okay out here. I'll try and be a little more uh, in touch with you guys. It's been very, very busy out here. There's a few videos I've got that I'm working on that I really want to show you, but uh, they're kind of long. <laughs> I haven't put them together yet, but anyway, there's a lot going on. But that's the activity for the day. Aloha, everybody. Be well. And why, you might ask, Am I not trying to catch this water? Yeah, I'll show you that in the next video. <laughs> There's a reason, my friends. There's a reason. Gotta try and build up a little suspense, don't I?